Right, today I'm going to change this, this rocket stove burner thing with an oven. I built it a couple of years ago and it works but the, the chimney draft is restricted. I think I made this too narrow. It's only like one inch and I put some baffles in sort of like here and here to restrict the the flow a bit which was a stupid idea and as it's a horrible day I'm gonna change it I mean if you look in there if you can see there's only a little gap for the heat to go through which means when it's all shut up you get blowback smoke coming out of here it's just not working efficiently it's got some holes in the back to give it a bit more airflow but I'm losing like the rocket effect so so I'm gonna chop the top off around here get rid of the baffles make raise it up higher put a new top on and hopefully that'll give a lot more volume for the heat and the fumes to come up and go through and up the chimney. Uh, we'll see if it works. I'll put a link up to the video, the first video of it. It does work, but it's not working good enough. And as it's gonna be a horrible rainy stormy day, might as well do it today. There's the baffles that we don't want. Well, I went to home base and they didn't have what I wanted, so I found a bit of old metal, which I'm gonna clean up. And these can be used to raise up the sides like that, and then I'll make a new plate to go on the top. This place is such a bloody mess. I must tidy up. Right, that's the top plate marked out. Let's cut it. This is like four mil steel, so it'll hold the heat and it won't warp. All right, that'll do. <clears throat> Here's what we've got. We've got a nice thick steel plate for the top. I've cut a hole out for my little lid. That's a bit of angle iron that I've put in. I'm not welding it in this time. I'm gonna, cause this is a test really. So <clears throat> this fits on top like this. Look at that crap welding terrible but I didn't care I've been rushing through this it's just a test really I haven't finished it properly I just want to test it so that fits on top like that hopefully not too much smoke will come out it's my little plate there you go fits in We've got a lot more height now and we've got rid of those stupid baffles. I don't know what I was thinking with those baffles. That's ruined it. I could have cut the top off, I think. Got rid of the baffles and just re-welded it in, but I wanted to make it higher, so I've done it. Right, we're gonna light her up and see what happens. See if we can get a decent draw through it now. Let's have a look. My God, I think it's working. Look at this, you can hear it roaring. Decent draw at last. It's sucking air. 
hot at this end. Whoa. Yeah. By Jove, I think I've cracked it. It's only taken me about two years <laughs> to be bothered to actually fix it. Put the pot on, I suppose, and see. There's two options. You can either put it on there for a slow boil, or take this off for your fast boil. What have we got in the oven? Not so hot at the moment. But it's getting there. I've only had it on a like five minutes. Let's check inside again. Look at the flames in there. Look at the draw. <laughs> We're at beef degrees cooking temperature. That's warmer than it's ever got before. We're now at lamb degrees cooking temperature. Nice. We've gone past pig degrees and we're nearly at chicken. Never been that hot. Check out the oven, over 100 degrees centigrade. That's amazing. Let's try a bit of garlic bread. <laughs> it's got that hot, the oven's jamming though. It won't even go in properly. I'll have to take some off, it's got too hot. The hot plate's purple. 575 degrees is purple heat. <sighs> Kettle's finally boiled. God, it's hot. I can't get the oven open. I've got garlic bread in there and it's expanded too much now and it won't open. Jesus Christ. It's gonna be cremated. I think it's done. Jesus. Hot plate's gone blue now. That's 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, why not? Gotta try it out. Cooking a spag ball. And the oven has got too hot now. That's ridiculous. Loaded up with fuel. 